As you become more comfortable writing HTML and CSS code, you will be ready for better code editors. If you're on a Windows computer, you've probably been using something like Notepad++, which is a good free code editor. It has a lot of features that help you to write the code. It has some limitations. It's a little awkward sometimes to just get up here to run your code in, in your browser. It doesn't have some great features like spell checkers are not great. There are some other limitations to Notepad++. Windows also has a free text editor that comes by default with all Windows software. It's called Notepad. Now the difference between Notepad and then the program called Notepad++ is Notepad++ is just like Notepad except on steroids. So Notepad by itself is a great little text editor and you could build every website you ever designed with Notepad. The problem is it just has no features, very few bells and whistles to it at all. Notepad++ has a lot of great features and this is a wonderful editor to get started learning how to write the HTML code. But again, after you've done this a bit, you started learning how the code is structured, you're going to be ready for better code editors. Now if you're on a Mac computer, you've probably been using something like Text Wrangler or BB Edit or one of the many code editors that you can find in the uh, Apple Store. But as a teacher, it helps if all students will use the same software. Now, of course, software that you use becomes personal to you, and you may have your own preferences. But it's good whenever teachers can find software that can run on any platform, which means it'll run on Windows, it'll run on Mac, or it'll run on Linux. So if we can find a great editor that runs on all platforms, then teachers are really interested in trying to get students to use that because it makes it easier for us to troubleshoot and to say well click here and do that and everybody would be doing it exactly the same. Now we refer to software that will run on any computer as cross-platform. So cross-platform means that it is software that will run on a Windows or a Mac or a Linux computer. Today I want to introduce you to one of those. This one is called Brackets, and Brackets is a code editor that's put out by Adobe. It is a free product right now. You can download it by going to their website at brackets.io. So brackets.io. Just download it to your computer, and after you get it downloaded, you'll see that it will make your life as a coder a lot easier. After you've downloaded and installed Brackets, then go ahead and open it in your monitor screen here. You'll see that it, it comes automatically with a section here called Getting Started. And here is an HTML file called Index. And here, right away, before you add any other extensions to Brackets, you'll see one of the benefits that'll make you want to switch over and start using Brackets. Come over to the far right with this HTML file open in the editing window and click on this little lightning bolt icon up here. It says Live Preview. Click that once. Now you have to have Chrome installed on your computer, but when you have it installed, then what happens is that Brackets will be able to give you a live preview of whatever it has in the browser window. So like right here, if I come to the Getting Started with Brackets line in this H1 element, I could just type yay, and you see that that is automatically added over here to the output window. So Live Preview is rendering the code in real time, and you'll be able to see what you're doing and how it's going to look as you type it. Now one of the things you can do is, when you get brackets, is just go ahead and start reading through this. Look through the code, see how they do it. Start reading this screen because the file here is actually introducing you to brackets and a lot of its features. A lot of great stuff here to help you get started. There is also a CSS file. And we click this and you can see these colors that you see are the colors that are, just, that are assigned by the default theme that's here in brackets and that can all be changed but this is a good start and what you can do is just click on these things like if you come down and and you here's a max width property 
we can right click this and say quick docs and it opens up a w window and it tells us what max width is it tells us how it works whether it's fillable whether how to fit it into content how to inherit it and all and then there's also a button right here that says read more you click that and it opens up the webplatform.org website a great website for finding how to work with HTML and CSS code and you can just scroll down through here and read everything that you'd ever want to know on how to work with that particular element so this is a great tool uh, for production coders as well as for students to come in here and learn how to work with these kinds of tools so I encourage you to check into brackets get it installed on your computer and try it out now let me just give you one bit of advice if you're in the middle of the term and you've already gotten comfortable with notepad plus plus and you feel like that maybe the course is hard enough without making any changes at this point then don't worry about it just keep using notepad plus plus or text wrangler or whatever it is that you're using but if you feel that you're ready because you understand how the code is structured and you want to find a way to make writing that code a little bit easier then think about going ahead and switching over to brackets